Hello and welcome to Color Up. Today I'm going to show you a crap strategy that has actually been banned from casinos. Now, is it because it wins too much? Let's find out. Now, let me just say up front, the casino is not afraid of any strategy. No matter how you mix up your bets, there is no way you could eliminate the house edge. Every single bet has a house edge, so in the long run, the casino always wins. That being said, this particular strategy, you can't play usually at most electronic and bubble machines. And I know the uh, town of Wendover doesn't allow this strategy. And is it because you always win? Well, not necessarily. So this is a bit of a grind strategy and your local casino may or may not allow you to play this way just because you're taking up a spot at the table without risking a whole lot of money. They'd certainly rather have a player that just throws all their money on the table and hopes for a big win. And this is not that type of strategy. You're really kind of grinding it out. So a guy shared this strategy on YouTube many years ago, and maybe he's retired with this strategy, or maybe he's still out there grinding, but he's not on YouTube anymore. But uh, you may have heard of this strategy before, and it's called the three-point blender. Like many strategies, the higher you make your bets, the less of a grind it is, right? The more profit you're gonna win on each one. But I'm gonna start with a $30 level. So we're gonna start with a $30 don't pass bet, and then you'll see where the grind comes in. This bet loses with the seven or 11, it wins on the two, three. So you got $30 at risk. Let's say a point gets established and it's the five. What we're gonna do is now make another $30 bet in the don't come. Now this bet loses with the seven or 11, but with the seven it loses, but we would win here so it would break even. So we're no longer worried about the seven. We are worried about the 11 though at this point, and we are worried about the five. If the five rolls, we would lose this bet. But we've changed our risk from the more probable seven to the bigger risk of the five rolling. All right, now let's say then eight rolls, this don't come, we'll travel behind the eight. What you're gonna do then is immediately then ask the dealer to place the eight. Now you have a situation here on the eight where it's can't lose. If you roll a seven, you would lose your place bet and win the don't and break even on this bet. If you roll the eight, you would lose your don't, but you would win 35 for a $5 profit. All right, so you might say, well, great. So let's do the same thing and place bet the five. And you could do that. And here, now the five's in the same situation. The seven rolls, you would lose your place bet, but if the five rolls, you would lose your don't pass, but win 42 here on the, on the place bet five for a $12 profit. So right now we have a two point blender and nothing can happen in except for us break even or win a $12 profit or a $5 profit. But we're going for three points. So instead of covering the five, we're now going to make another bet in the don't come. And again, this creates a wash on the seven, so we're no longer concerned about the most probable number. We've moved the risk to the five in this case. Now let's say we roll a 10, so the school will go behind the 10. At this point, we can now cover our other numbers and make place bets on those. So dealer, give me a place bet on the 30 or on the 10. Give me a place bet on the five. So from here, we cannot lose. If we roll a seven, we'll lose our place bets, but which is $90, but we would win $90 on our don't bets. But if we knock off numbers individually, let's say we roll a eight again, we lose the 30, but we win 35. Here we would lose the, if we roll the five, we would lose 30, but we'd win 42. If we roll the 10, which we'd love to do, we would lose 30, but we would win 54 as actually as a place bet at $30 level. We actually want to make that a buy bet. So you'd get paid 60 minus a dollar VIG or $59. So you'd lose 30 and win 59, $29 profit. So you've got $180 on the board, but really you have nothing at risk. You're going to win five, 12, or what did I say, 29. So the holes in this strategy are really rolling the yo when you have don't comes and rolling the point early before you have it covered. So again, the casinos that allow this know that there are holes in it and eventually you're gonna to lose to them. And the other thing to look out for is you say, well, you got a lot of money, maybe this is great for comps. Eh, ask your pit man because they may or may not be rating you well because you've got no risk on these bets. You can push back and you certainly should be rated for your numbers that are you know, going through the don't come and the don't pass naked, right? Because you're, you're, it's fully at risk at that point. Um, but here, once they're established, I get that you don't have anything really that could be rated. All right, I'm starting off here with a $500 bankroll. Let's go ahead 
and do $30 on the don't pass. And again, you could scale this up for larger profits. Let's get these dice moving and see what happens. Let's see if we start off with a two or three winner on the don't pass. Nine points gonna be nine. So we'll mark the nine and then we'll get $30 and put that up in the don't come. And you probably wanna position yourself around this side of the table so you can reach the don't come. All right, here we're not afraid of the seven, the most common number, we're afraid of the nine and the 11. So those are the numbers we need to avoid. Here we go. 10, 10 hard. So this is gonna travel behind the 10. We'll go ahead and ask the dealer, we'll throw $30 in and say, we'd like to place that 10, or actually we wanna buy the 10. Oh, well, a buy would be inside. And you know what, just, just so you understand, you can check out my buy videos, but a lot of casinos are moving to automatic buy, so I'm gonna leave it here on the place position. I'm not going to use a buy button and I'm just going to play it or pay it as a buy bet. So we could place the nine for a two point blender, but we're going to try to get one more number and get a three point blender. So let's get $30 in the don't come and see what happens. Here we go. Eight. Eight easy. All right. So this is going to travel behind the eight. Okay. This time we're going to take $60. Ask the dealer to place our eight and nine. So we'll cover those bets. And now we are in a can't lose situation. We're either gonna break even, we're gonna win five, we're gonna win 12, or we're gonna win 29. Remember, if we get knocked off before that, we have $30, so we would be down $30. So when you hit these, you wanna win at least $30, right, to recoup any losses you may have. But right now, no matter what, we're gonna be either break even, or in profit mode on this particular shooter. All right, four, four hard. We don't care about that. We just care about the, we are really looking for the eight, nine, and 10. The strategy is about rolling the numbers. Hey, there's the 10, 10 hard. So that's ideal situation. We lose our don't of $30, but our buy bet of 30 is going to pay $60, 50, 60, minus the $1 VIG. And if they charge you a $2 VIG, find a new casino. I don't have any ones, so I'm gonna take this five and give you out four, four ones there for a $59 win. So from here, we don't need any more risks. So we'll tell the dealer to return our nine to us, or I'm sorry, our 10 to us, and return whatever the point is. So we'll have them, re dealer, return my nine and 10, and then you're gonna put $30 back in the uh, don't come. Now, just as a reminder, you don't leave the bet on the point because if you did and you made a don't come bet, now you have a naked don't come bet, which would be subject to the seven or 11. But if we do it this way, the seven is a wash here. We've actually moved the risks to the less common number nine. So we don't want to roll the 11. We don't want to roll the nine. And those are better options than the seven. So that's why we do that. All right, here we go. Let's see where else we can move. Eight. All right, I knocked my chip here. All right, so what happens here? Down behind, we're gonna lose our 30. Our don't come is gonna travel behind the eight. And then our 30 up here is going to win 35. Hey, we'll take a $5 profit and put it right back in the don't come. All right, here we go. Five, fever five. All right, the don't come will travel behind the five. And at this point, we'll again take $60, give it to the dealer and say, I'd like to place the five and nine, please. So now we're in that position where we can't lose. We're going to win five or $12. All right, let's see if we can roll the five, eight or nine. There's the eight. So we lose down behind, we're gonna lose 30, but we're gonna win 35, so we can rack up five. Dealer, pull down the eight and the nine, and then you're gonna put $30. Don't come in. And here we go. Yo, 11, so that's a bad number. So we're gonna take a $30 hit here. Remember, we won 30 plus a couple other, so we're still up, we still have profit, but a $30 hit there. So let's go ahead and replace that. Don't come in. 
We need to avoid the 11 and the point. Here we go. Nine, and so another bad situation there. So we lose 30 on the don't pass. This is gonna travel behind the nine and the puck is gonna go off. Now this is an interesting situation because these don't bets, they're always gonna be working and they're going to win with a seven. So if they're working, we don't want any risk. So what we're gonna do is throw in $30, get that nine covered. And this is key. If the puck's off, make sure you override the puck by telling the dealer you want your place bets on or working. So here we're not worried about these bets up here. We'll certainly be happy if the five or nine rolls we're gonna go ahead and make a $30 bet. Remember, we've been hit twice for a $60 loss. Do we have $60 in winnings? That's actually pretty close. So just like that, you could take away your profits and that's what, the, you know, that's what makes this a grind. All right, same shooter coming out. Here we go. Seven on the come out. So there's another hit for us. So we lose our don't pass, that's 30. These bets up here, they lose. So we lose 60 in the front. This will come down this 60 and get paid 60 there. So these broke even, but come out seven, that's a loser there. So I know for sure we haven't made a profit at this point because we've been hit three times at $30 losses. And I know we don't have that much profit. And that's essentially why the casino is not afraid of any strategy because if there's a hole in a strategy, well, here on Color Up, I'll certainly usually roll it. All right, let's go ahead and give this another try and see what happens. See if we can grind out a win here. All right, dump the bolt. Well, actually, it would be the same shooter because that was a come out seven. So here we go, same shooter. Hot shooter, unfortunately. Yo, 11. That's no good. We're really rolling the wrong numbers. All right, here we go. And just like that, it makes it very difficult to come back. All right, we're out on the 10. So let's go ahead and make $30. The don't come. And here we go, let's see where it moves. Nine, no, eight, eight easy. All right, let's travel behind the eight. Dealer, place my eight and we'll get $30 one more time. Don't come. Let's try to get that third point in the blender. Seven. Uh, here it doesn't hurt us. So we lose our place eight. We lose our don't come bet. That's 60. Our don't come down gets paid 30. And we get paid 30 here. Puck's going to go off. And we completely broke even for that particular shooter. And now we'll dump the dice because we have a new shooter and see what happens this time. All right, here we go. Six the hard way. Six hard is going to be our point. Let's go ahead and get $30. Don't come in. And here we go. Seven. And again, we're not worried about the seven. We lose here. We win here. It's a push. Puck goes off. And we have a new shooter. All right, here we go. Seven on the come out. That's no good. For my dice rolled it, but it was a seven. So that's the hit. That's the big one. Six ways to roll that seven. I mean, you could like hop the sevens or play the any seven or, you know, bet on the yo. There's lots of ways you can hedge this, but because it's already such a hedging system, you're probably just throwing away even more money kind of trying to protect this uh, method. But here we go. There's another seven. All right, we're shooting. We're ruining this strategy like nobody's business. Well, this guy's going to be out of business soon here. All right, here we go. Same shooter looking for a point. Eight. It started off so well too. All right, there's the eight. $30 don't come. And here we go. Six, six, easy, six, easy. So travel behind the six. Dealer, I'd like to make a place bet on the six. 
and $30 don't come. Let's see if we can roll a number here. Here we go. Six, easy six. Not a bad situation here. We lose down behind. This don't travels and this 30 gets paid 35. So we win $5, but that's the grind. It's gonna be very difficult to, to replace all the losers we had, especially just a minute ago on the come out sevens. Let's go ahead and put $30 in the don't come. And here we go. There's the seven. These two bets lose. These two bets win. 30 there, 30 there, puck is gonna go off. All right, let's give this a couple more tries. But I think you get the gist of it at this point. Six, easy six. All right, let's see what happens. Let's roll a number. Three, craps three, there we go. Finally, something going our way a little bit. That's a winner here. So we just win a quick 30. Rack it up. And keep rolling. Eight, easy eight. So we'll move the eight. We'll place the eight so we don't have to worry about it. And then we'll make $30, don't come. Why stop at three? Well, I don't know. Essentially, you could just continuously do this forever, but uh, he decided with three. So here we go. Five. One reason is, it's, let's say you do have all the numbers um, covered up. Well, yeah, I was going to say you'd always have a... Uh, well, yeah, you'd always have to keep making another don't come and that would always be at some point would always be naked Whereas like at this point, it's going to go behind the five Now we can place Against the five and the six and we have no risk, but if you did it continuously Eventually if you filled up all the numbers, you'd always have that $30 at risk, but here we have zero risk So I don't know you could try it, you know, try it at home do it both ways, but uh we're going to stick with three here. All right, we're looking for that five, six, or eight. The five is going to pay us a little better, but we've got an eight and we'll take it. So down behind the eight, but our 30 is going to win 35 up here. So we'll profit five. Dealer pull the six or the eight, essentially what hits and the point down. And then we're going to place $30. Don't come in. Let's see if we can get set back up again. Five, there's the five. My dice rolled off screen, but it was a five. So down behind this five, we're gonna win 42. And this is gonna travel behind the five. So cool, we'll take this $12 profit and we'll take 30 and stick it in the don't come. And my Rex rack is getting a little messy here. I clean it up just a tad bit. All right, here we go. Let's roll a number. Nine, sister number of the five. So travel behind the nine. Now dealer. Seems like a lot. We're throwing $60 out there, but we're in a situation where now we have zero at risk. Let's roll that five or nine where we can get a little more profit out of it. Six, easy, six. All right, that's fine. So we lose or don't pass, but our place is gonna pay 35. Puck's gonna go off because we hit our point. So essentially, rack our $5 profit. We could stick 30 on the don't. Dealer, pull down my six. And remember, the puck's off, we wanna override it. So dealer, let's get our place bets working. All right, here we go. See what number we roll. Seven, that's not a good one. These are a wash, but this is a loss up here. So we'll lose that one. And really we lose these, but these will come down and get paid that same amount. So we'll rack that up. All 
Now we rolled a seven, the puck was off, so same shooter. Maybe this will be the last round we do this. $30, don't come in, don't pass actually. And let's see what happens. Four, easy four. That'll be eventually a good one for us, we hope. Let's go ahead, $30. So now we're not worried about the seven, we're worried about the 11. We're rolling that four right back. All right, here we go. Low probability, but you never know. There's the seven. So we lose here, but we win here for break even. Puck's gonna go off. We're gonna have a new shooter. All right. This is definitely the last time. All right, here we go. 10, uh, 10 down there on the end. So mark the 10. $30, don't come. Here we go. 10 right back, that is, you cannot do that. Low probability, there's only three ways to roll it, but guess what, we rolled it. All right, so we're gonna lose our don't, and this will travel behind the don't, and puck is gonna go off. Uh, it's not a seven out, so I guess we'll keep going. I was gonna say, you can, with don't, you could pull down. I could say you could pull this down and just walk away from the table. Um, but because of my videos, I like to end on a seven. Uh, we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and place or buy that 10 and we'll essentially start over and see what happens. All right. Same shooter coming out. Here we go. Five. All right. Point's going to be five. Now let's bet $30 don't come. So our risk is the five and the yo. All right, here we go. Avoid those and we'll be okay. All right, there's the six. Let's we'll travel behind the six. Now we'll take our $60, place against the five and six dealer. Now we've got no risk. Hopefully we can roll this 10 and get paid uh, $29 profit. Yo, 11. And six, easy six. So we down behind, but our 30 is gonna get paid 35. Let's rack up the profit. Dealer have me come down off the six. Now, just so it's not confusing, I think I've explained this enough, but the reason why you don't just make a don't come bet is because these bets are now a wash, but this one is subject to the seven. But if you pull down the point number as well, now these two bets, become a wash and really you just want to avoid the five. So we've moved the risk from the seven, which is more likely down to the five. Now it's up to the dice guy to decide if that's a good move or not, but uh, that's the logic behind why you would do that. All right, here we go. Six, easy six. So we'll travel behind the six. And we'll just throw that money back out there. And here we go. Nine, we don't have the nine. Looking for that 10 though, that's the ideal number. Six, easy six. All right, we're grinding away. So we lose 30, but we win 35. Dealer pull down my bets here. And we'll rack our five. And we'll just set those bets aside for a moment. Here we go. Six, easy six. We're going back and forth, winning five dollars at a time. All right, dealer placed my five and six. All right, here we go. There's that six. We lose here, but we're going to win 35. Dealer pulled my bets down. Won another five dollars. We'll set those bets aside. We're winning five. But uh, we've got 30 at risk if we roll that five or that yo. So that's the grindy part. And there, there's that five. That's what you can't have happen. So the don't loses, there's our 30. Don't comes behind the five and the puck is gonna go off, we hit our point. All right, let's go ahead and get $30 place. Make our pucks off, we wanna override it. And get our $30 don't. When will this video end with a seven out? I don't know, here we go. 
Keep it going. Three, craps three, there's a winner for us. Maybe uh, our luck will start changing here a little bit. All right, here we go. There's the seven on the come out. So that's no good for our don't. So we won 30 and now we gave it right back. And here we go. Dice off the table, no roll. Hopefully that'll bring us a craps number. Same shooter, new die, eight, eight hard. All right, we'll mark the eight and we'll place against the eight. As you can see, we are running out of greens here. We don't need this marker. We're in a no-lose situation now, but uh, let's roll that 10. Three, three craps, we could have used that earlier. Dice off the table, no roll. I'm gonna run out of die here before the video ends. Eight, easy, eight point hit. The shooter's on a hot roll and this is when you wanna start uh, questioning your life decisions. You're playing the strategy when you got a hot shooter. All right, down comes the don't. Our 30 is gonna pay 35. So essentially a $5 in profit there. Puck's gonna go off because we hit our point. Put $30 in the don't, and we don't wanna have this guy out there, so we'll, we'll go ahead and move that down. Puck's off, dealer, hey, make sure my place bets are working. All right, same hot, hot shooter. Eight, right back on that eight. Place against it. And here we go. There's that seven I was looking for. <laughs> Not for any other reason, but uh, tired of rolling this strategy. So, all right, so all of our place bets come down, which is $90. But guess what? These don'ts come down, and those $90 gets paid $90. All right, puck is off, and that ends the strategy. So what do we start with? 500 I'll go ahead and show you how the standard did, which is essentially the three-point molly with max odds. And the three-point blender, we've got one, 200, 275, 250, 275, 330, 340, uh, 346. So we're actually going to color down to 346. And uh, yeah, that is the three point blender, as you could see, just like any strategy, whether the casino bans it or not, just because they don't like the play. There is no way long term this strategy or any other strategy is going to take down the casino. So it could work for a little while. And just like any strategy, it depends on how the dice roll. But uh, let me know what you think. Until next time, good luck on coloring up.